Hello, I'm Ericsson, a PhD student. Um, I just want to share you my thoughts on um, um, scale, resolution, representation uh, from the perspective of my PhD thesis, which is modeling the or simulate the out of Africa dispersal. So, out of Africa theory that uh, hominins disperse out of Africa and dispersed across Eurasia. There are various hypotheses, for example, environmental changes uh, or cultural changes or changes in resource distribution. We have various <coughs> hypotheses that try to explain the expansion out of Africa. And what we do in simulation is to formalize these hypotheses and um, have access to them to compare the hypotheses. And for comparison, we always need some kinds of measurements. For example, we have some temporal measurements. So for example, how, well, when was the first dispersal, how many times did they disperse, and how fast did they disperse. And we have a spatial component, so where was their origin, what route did they take, and uh, what was the extent of the initial uh, expansion. And of course, the question of taxonomy. Um, was there a difference between Homo erectus or Homo sapiens or were even earlier forms involved in the dispersal? So just one example, uh, so that you know my background, you know, we can do uh, an example on root selection and uh, how do we compare the hypothesis, for example, we set some agents there that behave according to a certain hypothesis that we have formalized and then we count how many agents or streams of populations uh, to select the routes. And then we have some data, uh, some numbers, uh, the, the population selected this route has uh, that much time and we can compare different hypotheses according to some numbers. And we can make also uh, some inferences about environmental factors, for example, glacial or interglacial periods. So now my, my thought on scale. So I thought um, I want to share you how, how I approach this this uh, issue, and uh, for me, the uh, the basis of the question always rises in the research question, which is, for example, how or why did early hominins disperse out of Africa, and this is the basis upon where I decide how, what is the scaling. So, as out of Africa already implies, implies Africa and something outside of Africa, so two continents at least. So it's a continental scale question. This has already implications on the uh, agents that I have. For example, I'm not at this stage. I'm not interested in individuals. I'm interested in populations. Also, maybe not interested in and uh, in years or months and more like geological time scales or glacial cycles. And of course, the scaling. Um, uh, the research question has the. If, um, implications for how do I represent the uh, entities in the model. For example, if we have heterogeneous entities interacting very much on a spatial landscape, for example, age-based modeling may be an appropriate approach, otherwise you may choose a different modeling method. And also the question about resolution. Uh, nobody tells you what is the right resolution of the map to disperse to simulate the dispersal. And you have some uh, ideas, but you have to try different resolutions in the um, sensitivity analysis so that all the features that you want to consider are represented in the simulation. Okay, um, to sum up my, my thoughts um, about <coughs> scale, how um, to choose a scale for the Africa, looking at the research question, we have a continental scale research question that has to be answered on a continental scale. However, there may be some, um, um, some times where you have to downscale to a certain region to further support the large scale model. Because in the end, it were individual hominins uh, dispersing across the landscape. And uh, representation, we try only to so, um, select the features or represent the features that are that we consider are important to our research question. So, modeling means in, in essence to learn by abstract something from the uh, system that we examine. And resolution, yeah, it must match should match the scale of course. So, 
it does not mean if you have a large scale um, scenario, it's, it's maybe not good to have a very high resolution environment, for example. And uh, I think it's good to go with be as coarse as possible, but as fine as necessary. And um, always keep our constraints in mind. That's why we have to model, because we are somehow limited. We have limited abilities. <coughs> we can address complex questions, but we have to divide it into sub-problems. Of course, we have to consider computation power also. Okay. Thank you.